A small community in Saskatchewan has been shaken. The hamlet of Lone Rock, just 30 minutes south of Lloydminster, received some shocking news from the RM of Wilton last night. A town hall meeting was called regarding the hamlet's future, and the news delivered by Reeve Glendow was not what residents were hoping to hear. Our Brittany Matika was at the meeting last night and has this new cap news exclusive. We've been here for 32 years, I believe, and um, raised our children here. Then in the past few years, over the years, we purchased some properties for rentals, thinking that that could be our retirement. Parkin owns the Lone Rock Tea House, but closed the door for the last time on Sunday as she has sold the building, her rental properties and her home. She felt scared over the past few months about what was to come if she didn't sell to a private buyer. And then this realtor also told me that they have a limited amount of money. When this money's gone, then they're done buying. So I'm thinking, I'm stuck, you know, like here I am, what am I going to get for this? Absolutely nothing if I don't jump on it. Last night, the residents of Lone Rock gathered at this community hall behind me, and they received earth-shattering news that will change their community forever. Yes or no? Simple answer. Yes or no? Huge. The health board says, do yes you no. take care of our finances? It's a simple question. Yes, yes or no? As the RM of Wilton delivered the news to homeowners in Lone Rock, they were met with anger and tears. We're basically right now uh, subsidizing at a little more than 50-50. They're paying about 39%, we're paying about 61%. That's in 2018. The Hamlet has known they have water and sewer issues since 2014, and the RM has decided not to put forward money for replacement. According to government documents, the RM makes the final decision on the issue. Instead, they want to reclassify each property as country residential and make each home self-sufficient. The RM also came forward as the private buyer who's been purchasing property with a total budget of $2 million for anyone who's looking to sell. If you do it and open it all, the problem is once it comes to you guys and it starts being advertised, then real estate will drop because they'll say there's a risk in Lone Rock. Uh, you know, we're, we're uncertain of what exactly is going to happen. And the difficulty is that devalues property. And we're actually hoping not to devalue property. And, but the, the worst part about everything is that they thought that they were doing us a favor by not telling us what the plan was. The RM announced if anyone else would like to sell their home, they will purchase it at fair market value. They did not know how much of their budget was left to purchase more homes in the community, and this left many people unsure if they could even be able to afford to convert their home. They're scared to go because they can't afford to leave, but they can't afford to stay. I mean, last night they're telling us that, you know, then you have to put in your own well and this and that, and the taxes are going to go up. If you don't have water and you don't have sewer, uh, you really don't have a community. Uh, but as far as we understand it, that's not our ultimate responsibility. The RM of Wilton 